Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we will introduce you to the product accordion widget brought to you by the Ultimate Store Kit plugin. The product accordion widget is meant for e-commerce websites where, as a shop owner, you need to put a good interface to display your products and convey the store-related information to your visitors. The product accordion can save a lot of space on your website while onboarding lots of products using foldable boxes and labels. Just like what you are seeing right now, these accordions can hold product info with full product information, price, cart, and checkout buttons. So it's a convenient widget that will help interact with your users more. And of course, you can customize the interface to build unique and awesome designs easily. Now let's see how to customize it from the back end. Starting with dragging and dropping the widget in the page editor, this is the default layout of the widget. You can click on the items to see them expand and reveal the inner content. From the option, you can customize the gap or spacing between the accordions by dragging the scroll bar. There are some switches below to show or hide specific elements from the accordion. Let's click and expand one and then turn off the rating switcher. There you can see the product rating vanished from the accordion. Let's turn it back on. Next, the query section lets you change the limit of the number of accordion items on the display. Using the include field, you can make the accordion show only the selected product categories. Let's select terms here and then type a category name. Once you select it, the accordion will only show products belonging to the category. Below are some sharding options to further change the order of the products and you'll see switches that hide free, out of stock and missing image products. The additional section is filled with switches that you can use to control the visibility of certain elements on the accordion. Here, there are for the badges and action buttons. For new products, there is a field to set the days for how long the new badge will show for the product. The action buttons are the Add to Cart button, Add to Wishlist button, and Quick View button. Now let's move on to the Style tab. The first section here lets you customize the background, border, and margin of the items, which means the accordion items. Going into the title section, you can change the color of the title text and then change the background to make a perfect sync with the colors. For hover, you can use white text and deep green background to make it look more refined. Try hovering over the items to see the effect. The text seems a bit close to the edge. Let's add some margin on the left to move them a bit. Then we can add border radius to curve the edges and make them more circular. After that, you can change the font from the typography option. Let's select a decent font and then adjust its size and font weight. Next, let's change the icon color displayed at the right corner of the accordions by customizing the background color. The main icon logo can stay white. Then we can customize the padding to make it a little bigger and better. Now add values in the border radius field to make the icon circular, just like that. Then adjust the spacing between icon and accordion. For hover, we can flip the color of the icon and its background to match your theme or store page. Moving on to the image section, let's start by changing its background color. If you can't see the change, click on the accordion item to unfold the image. Once we get a suitable color, we can change the border radius to turn the background into a circle, just like that. 
Next, we can customize the category by changing its color for both text and border. Then for hover, we'll add a green background and border color with white for texts. Looks pretty nice when hovered now. Let's move to the batch section. First, we'll put values in the border radius field and curve the edges of the badges. Not fully circular, but it's good. Let's customize the padding too. Then we'll also put border radius value for the action buttons aka add to cart, wishlist and quick view buttons. Now they resemble the rest of the circular designs. Then we'll change the cart's background colors to green and the text color to white. Clicking on the next subsection, let's change the color of the text or icon and the border of the wishlist button to preserve the default style. Placing one value in the border field and then picking green for the border color. For hover, we can just flip the colors, white for the icon, green for the background. Now it looks more refined. In the same way, we can customize the quick view icon color too. Alright, now you get the perfect product accordion interface to display your featured products on your website easily. Thanks for watching this video, hope you have enjoyed it, we will keep bringing more videos like this to help you understand and use these widgets efficiently. So like, share and subscribe to our channel, see you next time.